friends and look at my other hand. My other hand was like this. <laughs> Welcome to your mid-month February check-in. So lovely to have you here. You're probably new here because I am too. So for this mid-month check-in, I went back to the start of the month, had a look at the comments that y'all posted on that video, any suggestions. And I think like two people suggested to look at how to balance the rest of the month out in order to achieve the things that they want versus the things that they need to do. So as, excuse me, as we do this reading, what I will be looking at is, my gosh, there's a lot of energy coming through me already. As we do this reading, I'm going to look at significant issues that may arise throughout the rest of the month and how you can balance yourself out so that you have a productive, successful, and also happy month. We've only got a couple more weeks left, so let's see what Spirit has to say. Look at that. Cut the deck in your cards there. <laughs> the sun card coming out for you. Excuse me, can you show them? There we go. Can you see that? Not oh, yet. Yeah. There. The sun card coming out for you. So Spirit, looking at Leo's energy for the rest of the month... What do they need to know about these last couple of days? Or, well, it's technically weeks. These last few weeks here in February. What does Leo need to know about these last few weeks in February, Spirit? What does Leo need to know? Whoops. These cards are not happy with me. We have the death card in the reverse position. Okay, I'm hearing a stagnant rebirth. A stagnant renewal of energy. Why is it stagnant? Oh, finances could be causing this to, to, you know, somebody's career could be causing this to slow down. Finances, family, children for some, causing that to slow down. We also have the Ace of Pentacles. I don't get this card a lot in this deck, so it comes out with like an oomph for me. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. So I want to focus on this theme. I'm not going to get more cards. Let's focus on this theme, Leo. We have the Death card reversed, talking about a stagnant rebirth. We have, um, excuse me, stagnant transformation for some of you. We have the Ten of Pentacles asking us to get our priorities straight. Like, why are we doing this? Let's not focus on the issues. Let's focus on the objective. And I feel like as this month closes, some of y'all are going to be more practical and focus on the objective more, especially if this has to do with saving, buying a house. When I think of the Ten of Pentacles, I think of a pretty hefty um, investment or legacy that you want to leave behind. And I think that the main reason that we'd be doing this is, is for those who come after us, you know, or to really show the world what we're made of because we feel like we have something to prove either to ourselves or even to other people. I think, um, Leo, as we close this month, there's like this message of achieving and getting back on track with your long-term goals, as well as giving yourself opportunities to stay on on track with this ace of pentacles an opportunity is not a promise but it is a pivoting point it is an opportunity for us to kind of go okay cool thank you for throwing me this lifeline spirit the universe god but what do i want to do with this how am i going to use this lifeline to better myself or to create something for myself so as we close the month of February, Leo, it kind of feels like y'all are getting the chance to pivot and maybe focus on something that you haven't focused on in a long time. Whether this is a personal transformation, whether this is a relationship transformation or a home project for some of you, it's as simple as painting the, the house that you've always, you know, a project that you've been putting off for a while. But it has to do with like a long-term goal and being successful, almost proving a point to yourself that you can do these things. I think it's something that has been delayed or you haven't been feeding energy into. You've kind of made excuses for this and said that it just didn't come together well in the past. Um, I do think that money has something to do with this or some sort of like physical achievement has something to do with this. I also think that this has the potential to get you further ahead when we look at like financial situations, either because doing that project adds value to your home, which in turn gives you equity to pivot off, or because investing in your education will give you more qualifications that give you more opportunities to apply for jobs and careers that you want that maybe pay better. 
or because investing in yourself right now gives you more physical freedom to be able to do more things in the future. That's what it feels like. It's kind of like if you play your cards right, if you stay focused enough, you are going to have more freedom, but you need to think long term, which is tricky. And that's where that balance seems to be coming back into place too. So spirit, so that's something to be aware of. Okay. As we close this month, it's, we're looking like we're really aware of the things that we have delayed that need more of our attention in order to be successful. Otherwise they're just going to stay stuck as would be, could be, should be's. Spirit, how can Leo balance their energy better as we close the month of February? How can Leo balance their energy better? I do want to talk about love too because it is February. I'm sorry if you're not here for it, but we got to talk about love. We have the Hermit card in the reverse position. There's only one month a year really where the whole world celebrates love in one form or another. So we got to take advantage of that. <laughs> Hermit in the reverse position. What else does Leo need to know or do in order to balance? We have the Page of Swords in the upright position. If you're going to focus for me, will you? Yeah. Page of Swords. I might just get one more card. What else does Leo need to know in terms of balancing their life spirit in order to achieve the things in February that they set out to do? The Fool. Okay. Okay. I like this full energy for you. You won't look foolish if you just jump. That's an interesting message. You won't look foolish if you just jump. That reminds me of like when you're a kid and you're trying to find courage to jump off something and your older sibling or your parent tells you like you you won't look foolish if you just jump like you look silly standing here crying <laughs> just my childhood okay <laughs> bottom deck energy is the king of cups so the king of cups is up right for you yeah you have a lot of love around you and it feels like it needs to be channeled and I, I don't mean to always pivot this way because uh, I think that you have beautiful qualities. Actually, you know what, Leo, in terms of a sign, um, I know that y'all are probably watching the other groups as well, so I don't have a favorite, but I think that Leo is a sign that's often very misinterpreted and misjudged, similar to Gemini. Um, y'all are very misjudged. You have so much depth to your character. You are often painted as very selfish people or egotistical people or loud people, extroverts who really loud energies that consume a room when actually there's this other side to you that is patient, compassionate, kind, that is tempered as well, <laughs> you know? So I feel like there's this beautiful creative energy within you that is trying to come out in a more loving way in February. And it feels like the focus is actually trying to be back on you, but instead you're finding ways to focus on other people and other things. And I'm, I think that February needs to be a month of reflection, of self-reflection and not just getting stuck in the thoughts, but actually holding yourself accountable. Why are these thoughts coming back to me? Why are these feelings coming back to me? What haven't I done about this? What do I need to do about this in order to feel at peace, in order to move forward and progress? What do I need to do? Uh, there's also... There is self-reflection, but there is also a heavy level of accountability here. And I think that your feelings are definitely trying to tell you something as you close this month up. You're a very loving person. That's the other thing with Leos. Y'all are also very romantic. You're very playful. And these aspects of your personality seem to have distracted your more serious side that is actually desiring something tangible, something secure, and something to be proud of in a physical sense. So I do see that in order to balance your world, it's time to hold yourself accountable for the things that you aspire to do and for the reflection that you've been taking. Okay, so what are my next steps? How do I find peace from this thought then? How do I use that wisdom, that reflection to move forward? What can I do now? And I think with the Page of Swords, the best thing you can do is stay open and curious towards information. Ask questions, do research. It may be minuscule in the sense of you don't have to become a 
professor of the area that you're interested in, but you do need to start being more open to information and gathering more facts and just more evidence because this is a very curious energy. The Page of Swords is someone who moves quickly and just picks up little pieces of information here, there, and everywhere through conversation, through the internet, through observation, through communication. Information when you're like this could find you through word of mouth of a stranger. And you're just like, wow, okay, cool. Thank you. Good to know that. I was actually thinking of buying my own house. Thank you for telling me that. And then you go out, excuse me for tapping the microphone, and explore that concept further through the internet or through other conversations. So you are being called to stay open-minded and curious, ask questions, and also try not to settle on just one course of action. Even though you need to be more accountable, that doesn't mean that there's only one way forward. Asking for information could reveal alternate solutions that are more suitable to your nature because maybe you don't want to do something that is completely out of your comfort zone. So that is really what this information gathering is about. And over here with the fool, you're just being called to take more chances, sweets. You need to be more open and receptive to the opportunities you're being given and you need to know when to take a leap of faith. And honestly, this comes down to having faith in yourself, having faith in the way that you've set these opportunities up for yourself as well as having faith in your own manifestations and the fact that you're you've set yourself up for this you know that you're working with the universe with every thought with every action you take the two of you have created these chances for you to take so it's time to start taking them that's really what i'm seeing when it comes to your balance we're going to quickly look at love now while we have some time what else can you tell Leo about their love life as we close February, Spirit? Look at that, temperance. You know what? When this card came out, I literally just saw balance in my head. Temperance came out with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. So things aren't moving forward as we want them to, but that doesn't mean that it's a dead end. It just means that our energy is better served in other areas of our lives. So either this has to do with one person or love in general. February is the month of love for a lot of cultures and societies, but it doesn't mean that that needs to be your main focus. So I do think that y'all asking how to balance your life was no coincidence. You intuitively know that you need to, what you need to be focusing on and where your energy is best invested. And I'm sensing for a lot of you, it is not in love in the last couple of weeks. It's better invested in yourself, your self-development and the things that you've been delaying. The, the goals and projects that you've been wanting to achieve. What else can you tell Leo about love? This is that patience energy coming through as well. Patience. What else can you tell Leo about love for the rest of the, uh, I was about to say year, for the rest of the month? We have the two of pentacles making time for love as well in your life. If you've got someone in your life, that's especially important because it feels like your partner is trying to be patient with you as you try to sort yourself out and get back onto these projects that you've delayed. I think that making time for love is more about understanding your needs better because sometimes we need to do this, we need to do that. And what's put on the back burner are our emotional needs. So when it comes to love towards the end of this month, you need to really keep that foot grounded in your emotional needs and prioritize those as well. And the other thing about the two of pentacles for single Leos or people who aren't in a solid commitment, it feels like this two of pentacles is about observing your options and choices in love. This could also be about staying open-minded about where you're headed and the path that you can take moving forward. This isn't about acting abruptly. Um, if you're a single Leo, I don't see you kind of forcing a relationship to happen. I see you more sort of taking your time, sort of being a bit spontaneous about it and just letting the universe figure it out for you. A lot of Sagittarius energy. Um, not forcing it to happen. If it happens, it happens. In the meantime, there's something else preoccupying your focus and it's keeping you busy. And I think that's a positive. Honestly, when it comes to love, you don't really have advice. You more so have predictions that are coming through. I see you being busy. I see you focusing on other things. I see you patiently waiting for your um, time to focus more on love, but I don't see that being February, Leo. Is there anything else you can tell Leo about love in February, Spirit? Very quick reading for you. 
I'm struggling to find more information <laughs> to talk about. Is there anything else you can tell Leo about love? I apologize for my phone. Can we clarify that, please? <clears throat> Look at this. We've got her again, the princess of swords in the reverse position this time. So where we had them upright over here, they're reversed in your love life. Honestly, other things are consuming your time, your energy, your attention. I don't see your lover or love life being the main focus. I see it being a distraction sometimes and something that you almost need to um, purposefully focus on because you're automatically focused on other things. But I also see overall with the Ten of Cups and the Princess of Wands here that your love life is expanding. And I think that you're in a position to be very flexible with the direction that it takes. For some of you, this is walking away from something towards a new direction or just creating something because you don't entirely feel fixed in a specific outcome when it comes to love. It feels like you're either creating something with someone as we speak and you're trying to keep it open-minded and not force it to happen a specific way or you don't have anybody, so you're just kind of trying to preoccupy yourself, keep yourself entertained, keep your own energy on track, and you're waiting for when that time comes your way. And I think that this is helpful for you. I think that this is something that you've been doing for a while for a lot of you, which is why you weren't too focused on love. I think that love is around you. You're a very loving person. We know that. But I also think that waiting for the right energy to come in is probably the best position to be in. It's not really any advice I could give you. This is definitely more of a prediction reading for you, helping you understand how the rest of the month is going to play out. Is there anything else Leo needs to know about love spirit? Yeah, it's not your responsibility sometimes to force these things to happen. You know that. I just want to remind you that it's not always your responsibility. Um, Sometimes you've, in the past, you've taken on way too much. So this is very good for you. This is, this is perfect for you, I think. Leo, I think that's all I have for you, sweets. I might need to do a, a love reading for y'all very specifically in a, a future video situation. Maybe we should do a love reading next month because I think that you need like a whole, a whole reading to decipher this energy. I think you're doing well. I think you know yourself well. There are other things in your life you need to be focusing on and you know that. You're doing really well and when it comes to love, that's, you're in tune, you're in flow with the universe is what I mean. You and the universe are on the same page here and you're just sort of waiting for the right thing to come in at the right time. When it comes to your other stuff that's going on, I hope this reading was helpful and gave you the information and advice that you need in order to overcome those potential issues. I wish you a wonderful, prosperous, loving month ahead. Happy Valentine's Day, Leo, and I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye.